You're spitting the best brisket in Texas all over the damn table. If ever on a road trip through the South, stopping at all of the best Southern fast food joints along the way is a must. So get out your map app and start dropping pins on these 10 Southern fast food chains we wish were everywhere. Bojangles. Ah, Bojangles, you got so. Founded in 1977 in Charlotte, Carolina, Bojangles is a fried chicken restaurant chain with a Cajun flavor. You can stop by for breakfast and chow down on a Cajun chicken filet biscuit or grab lunch or dinner. A popular order is the bone-in fried chicken. And you definitely need to participate in at least a few of the fixins. Mac and cheese, green beans, and mashed potatoes are all good choices. And just in case you didn't think the place was southern enough, you can also get a helping of grits. And for dessert, why not try the sweet potato fried pie? The chain has gone through a number of owner groups over the decades and a couple of heavy periods of expansion, which today puts them at over 600 locations, primarily in the south and southeast. Over the years, the chain has bojangled its way into the northeast with locations in Pennsylvania, Maryland, and the like. I should start expanding! But in those states, there are a combined six restaurants, whereas in Alabama alone, there are 31. With 104 in Georgia and a whopping 300 140 in North Carolina, Bojangles is one of the largest fast food chains that is very much primarily found only in the South. Biscuitville. Talking hard, boys. Real biscuit box. Biscuitville, home of the biscuit window since 1966. First, let's dig into what Biscuitville is. Their tagline is Southern Fresh, and that's exactly what they are. It's hard to believe it, but it's true. At Biscuitville, they make all their biscuits from scratch, hot every 15 minutes. Which brings us back to the biscuit window. While you wait for your order, you can watch the biscuits being made. They have nothing to hide and are proud to provide a window to their guests to see how it gets done. And from what we've heard, all that work and dedication to scratch making the biscuits pays off in just how good they taste. And they pair perfectly with all of the delicious between the biscuit options. From country ham to fried pork chops, bacon, sausage and eggs, fried chicken, and more. That's one too many. This is definitely one that Northern Americans would love, but that just isn't an option these days. In fact, it isn't just the North that's missing out on these awesome biscuits. If you're not in North Carolina or Virginia, then you will be forced to cross state lines to gaze at the famous biscuit window. There are currently just 62 Biscuitville locations, and they're all in those two states. Whataburger. Let's go to Whataburger. You know how folks in California are always telling the rest of the country that In-N-Out is the greatest burger joint in the country? Well, that is how people in the South feel about Whataburger. Around since 1950, the majority of their locations, more than 670, are in the great state of Texas. New Mexico has over 150 restaurants, and in the rest of the South, there are 126 franchised locations you can check out. While their orange Wonder Woman-inspired locations logo is enough to make you want to check them out, the food most definitely lives up to the expectations. The founders of the restaurant had two goals in mind when they opened the first location. They wanted to make a burger that was so big people would have to hold it with two hands, and so good that it would make people say, What a burger! And although you can't get a burger for 25 cents anymore, you still need two hands to hold these large hamburgers. What a burger is such an important part of the state that in 2001, during the 77th Texas legislative session, they passed a bill declaring Whataburger to be a Texas treasure. How many fast food restaurants can say that? Taco Cabana. Oh, the Taco Cabana? You might be thinking that you can get fast food tacos no matter where you are. That whenever you have a craving that has you thinking outside the bun, there's probably a Taco Bell close by to satiate that craving. So why do you need Taco Cabana? Well, sometimes you just want to live moss with a slightly more authentic and homemade Tex-Mex culinary experience. And when that's the case, your only option for that awesome Taco Cabana experience 
chance is to make a run for the border. The Texas or New Mexico border, that is, because the chain only has locations in those states. We must find it first. Since the beginning, the restaurant has made fresh food and ingredients a focus, and it comes through in the taste. They make the tacos fresh, and they definitely use real, actual meat. No controversy over at Taco Cabana. Their queso is delicious, and they make their own salsa from scratch. And while they do offer indoor seating, many locations offer patios, and there's a drive through service as well. In Texas and New Mexico, you can find a lot of great taco joints, but to have one in the fast food space is a blessing that folks in the North, and even the rest of the South, should be jealous of. Dat Dog Hot dogs, not so hot dogs, cold and droopy. Hot dogs are one of the most popular food items in North America, and yet how many fast food chains dedicated to the encased tubes of meat can you think of? We can think of a great one, Dat Dog. But unfortunately, there aren't a lot of them, and the ones that exist are only in Louisiana. Mardi Gras, great jazz music, and Dat Dog. It's like New Orleans gets all the good stuff. And as great as a classic hot dog with ketchup and mustard is, that dog offers so many options you could go back almost every day and never have to repeat an order. Although before we get to all the toppings, we need to mention that besides beef hot dogs, they also offer duck, crawfish, and alligator sausages. So many choices, Maggie! Now as for what you can put on the sausage of your choice, blue cheese, blackberry sauce, pico de gallo, sauerkraut, and crawfish etouffee are just a few of the options. And feel free to bring your non-meat eating friends and let them choose from one of the various vegan sausages on offer. Hot dogs aren't just for baseball games and 4th of July barbecues, but at least for now, that dog is only for folks in the Big Easy. East Hampton Sandwich Company. Watching you eat sandwich after sandwich after sandwich. For a long time, Subway has had a monopoly on the fast food sandwich market, mostly because they are a national chain. And while we have nothing bad to say about their product, the East Hampton Sandwich Company takes the sandwich to a whole other level that leaves Subway and pretty much every other chain sandwich shop in the dust. If you've never been to one and you don't live in Texas, then it's probably best not to Google them because one look at their sandwiches and you'll be craving one big time. A craving that can only be satisfied in the state of Texas. Texas! Grilled chicken, fried chicken, roasted pork, shaved beef, maple bacon, and prosciutto di parma are just a few of the ingredients they put between two delicious pieces of bread. The East Hampton Sandwich Company seems like an odd name for a southern joint, but they do offer some menu items that speak to the northeastern part of the country that is its namesake, particularly their lobster rolls and ham and cheese sandwiches. And while the small chain only has locations in Texas, there are only three locations in all. Which means that not only does the rest of the country need the East Hampton Sandwich Company, but Texas needs more of them as well. Crystal. You gotta warn somebody before you hand them a square burger. You might look at Crystal with their small square burgers and think to yourself that it's just another White Castle, and why would we need it everywhere? Sure, Harold and Kumar might not be able to tell the difference, but they were not in the best frame of mind, so that doesn't count. And yes, the founders of Crystal did visit White Castle in Chicago just before setting up their first joint in Chattanooga. But ask anyone in the southern states where Crystal thrives, and they will tell you that White Castle has nothing on them besides the size and shape of their signature burgers. They would claim that the fresh onions, a little mustard, and pickle give Crystal a flavor advantage. It's an evolutionary advantage. Crystal also has a number of chicken offerings and little hot dogs called pups. They really have taken this smaller size thing to heart. In fact, in the 2007 Crystal Square Off, competitive eater Joey Chestnut set a world record by finishing off 103 Crystal Burgers in eight minutes. We feel pretty confident saying he couldn't have done that many Whoppers in eight minutes. You can find Crystal restaurants across 10 different states in the South and Southeast from Alabama to Florida. Kentucky and Tennessee are the only two states that have both White Castle and Crystal locations. Cookout. Earlier, 
We had a packing cookout. Who doesn't love a good cookout? Well, now you can do so anytime you want. Well, as long as you reside in one of the lucky states that host cookout restaurants. The first cookout location opened up in 1989 in North Carolina, and it stayed within those state borders for years, expanding to 50 locations in North Carolina before making the jump over state lines in 2010. Things moved fast after that, and the chain now consists of almost 300 locations across 10 southern states. Cookout has been described as walking into an awesome food court at the mall. Chopped pork barbecue, chicken nuggets, char-grilled hamburgers, corn dogs, and more. And make sure you try the cheer wine float, a delicious combination of cherry soda and vanilla soft serve ice cream. Ah, oh, refreshing. Sure, there are good burger joints and good barbecue chains up north, but no place does both like they do at Cookout. And if you ever do get to one, may we suggest the tray. This mix and match style combo meal gets you a big double burger and two sides. But when they say sides, they don't just mean fries and onion rings. While those are options, other options include corn dogs, chicken nuggets, and bacon wraps. Golden Chick with a chick chick here and a chick chick there. There are those who think that when it comes to fried chicken, it's the kernel or bust. But while KFC may be the most far reaching, folks in Texas, Oklahoma, South Carolina, Louisiana, Florida, and Nevada have access to a place that might be even better. The sad part is that everyone else in the other 44 states will have to cross state lines in order to do a comparison taste test or fly across the ocean as the chain can also be found in Karachi, Pakistan, as well as Jordan. And they even have plans to open up an outlet in China. They are everywhere. The chain began as one restaurant, Golden Fried Chicken, in San Marcos, Texas in 1967. It has since expanded to over 180 restaurants, and in 1996, they changed their name to Golden Chick. Frying chicken has always been at the heart of what they do, but since 1985, their calling card has been their fried chicken strips known as golden tenders. One bite of these super crispy strips and you'll probably be a fan for life. Milo's Hamburgers. Meat sauce. The restaurant made its debut in Birmingham in 1946, and as of 2016, they were up to a total of 16 locations throughout the state. Although their hamburgers are great, they just might be more recognized for their sweet tea, which you can try without visiting Alabama. Recognizing how popular their sweet tea was, starting in the 1980s, the company began selling it in grocery stores throughout the country. Today, it can be found in stores in more than 20 states from Alabama to Hawaii. Free tea eliminate. Sweet tea. But head back to the Alabama locations, and that's where you get those yummy burgers. And the other thing that is almost as famous as their tea, their secret sauce. They put it on their burgers, you can dip your fries in it, and from what we've heard, you might just want to go ahead and dip your whole face in it. It's that good. And speaking of those fries, Milo's does crinkle cut style and sprinkles them with their secret orange seasoned sauce. We don't always like secrets, but these Milo's secrets are ones we wish were available to those of us outside the state of Alabama. Hungry for more? Just tap or click another video, hit that subscribe button, and ring that notification bell.